Let's watch this mix now with Josh. I think he was the first one that did this mix, correct? Yeah, they said that he did this one before Pablo. It's different, Josh. Let's go showing hella love. Oh, so Josh Collins was the pilot episode of this mixed hit different P pop session. Right. So he was he was the first, not even just with SB19, he was the first first for the show. Let's go. Okay, so he used the pilot. He was he was the he was the guy that they tested it on to see if this was gonna be a hit. Oh, I think to, Josh to tested him, right? them, see if they like capable of handling them. <laughs> yeah, you know. Shout oh, that's to Josh. Dope. We're gonna do the mix hits different P pop season with Josh Cullen, my man, yo. Barbecue baby, barbecue in hell. Oh, so this is they've had three seasons on this. It says. Somebody says hits uh, mix hits different had its previous seasons, but for season three it was P pop focused and Josh and Josh was the first. So he was the first pilot mm. for this season. For P pop, right? right? Yeah, yeah, for P pop. So they were focusing on P pop for season three. Then you got Pablo. You're probably gonna have Ken, Stell, and Justin. Ah, that's gonna be dope. And then they're probably gonna come all like five together too. I bet you. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Let's go. Let's see what it's about. Get up, get up, get up. (laughs) Top headquarters. Okay. Oh, it's the same room. That bit. Sorry, watch. Lo bendito para que le damos sin duda. So, esto para la EFOP HQ. Hello, everyone. I'm going to put this in Josh Padden. At the Nito, I'm going to put this in HQ. And what we have here, I interesting. I simply my heart. Oh, how would you describe the feeling of being a peepop soloist? Feeling of being a peepop soloist. To be honest, uh, not that I don't like beside, but I'll push through the my soloist. Besides SB90 Shaker, uh, hindi siya madaling responsibility. Uh, kasi I've been really trying to give all my efforts with the group. At the same time, uh, gagawa ka ng extra activity na katulad nito ay hindi siya basta basta ganun lang. Kasi it takes a lot of planning, uh, producing, Shaker, choreography, and alam mo na lahat na nangyayari behind the scenes. And Ito, it's like having to go to multiple jobs, two to three jobs. We may imagine, we may imagine you shot. And mahira pero masasabi ko fulfilling. I say being here, uh, I simply get to share with you guys my own creativity. Uh, yung pacing siguro kung paano ako magtrabaho. And of course, my own stories. Okay, so let's add the Eva. Share your core memory about an item in this room. Ito na. Ano dalo ba? Nandito na sila. Then you know the lawa. Yeah. Siguro having mouse and a headset. Um. To be honest, kaya dalawa. Kasi ito yung mga talagang naging ultimate part even from the beginning of my life. Uh, unconsciously, siguro simula ko sa headset para mahinig na talaga ako sa music ever since. Video games, mga auto jam, whatever, DDR, na tagal dahil din nagpapro nga ako sa mga ganun before. So unconsciously, ginagawa ko na siya matagal na. At ever since, I love video games na akala ko hindi makakatulong sa career or siguro sa craft ko pero 
siya pa yung mas uh, yung naging dahilan bakit so obrang um, kulit or malaro yung imagination ko. And up to this date, sila na yung gamit ko sa pagpaproduce, sa pagbimix, and of course, uh, creating my own songs and craft. Siyempre sa pag edit ng videos na rin. Damn, y'all. I wish No Drink was here, y'all. He loves hey, the video, video game. <laughs> yeah. So, so, what's that the TDR? He said he plays that pro. TDR? Was it TDR? What it stands for, guys? TDR. TDR. Right? Was it TDR? Am I tripping? That, uh, that he was saying that he played pro? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I thought it was a game. TDR. He was a regional champion of DDR. So I think that, I think they might have messed it up because people are saying that that he said DDR, dance yeah, dance, dance, for what? dance 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 revolution. That's that game oh, that you know. Of yeah. course, of course, he would be a pro at that. Okay, right? yeah, dancing, yeah. 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 Josh is a pro gamer. Okay, wow. yeah, and and I've heard this before too because you guys have mentioned that that he he likes the game. That's definitely a passion of him, and that he streams too. So we I might have to check out some of his streaming too to see how he, see how he how he does when he's playing too. Because yeah. We, no drink for sure would would love this because like that guy's yeah. a gamer. Oh yeah, yeah, all day, every day. That guy, yeah. that, that guy plays every I'm game. I'm surprised he's not jumping in as we speak after yeah. like watching a little bit of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Not gonna do video games without me. <laughs> yeah, I love hearing his perspective though on uh, just being a solo solo artist and and I feel like he he said a lot of the same stuff that Pablo said about the being solo. That it is a lot of work because their focus was so much on SB19 that mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's hard to put all that same kind of effort into just like themselves right because they're doing both things he, he's a lot of his effort and time is going to sb19 to have to do that solo too is a lot because of all the stuff that you we don't see behind the scenes right yeah. the choreographing the planning the, the release stuff all that stuff is a lot that you have to deal with as a solo artist and it's all on you the responsibility like you said is is a lot heavier because now everybody's depending on you as a solo like artist jobs, right yeah, yeah. But you know, like it's it's even with Pablo as well and Josh as well. It's like it took them time to actually do that because like their their sole focus was SB19, you know. So it it took a lot for them to, you know, like pursue a solo as well because of the love of the group. Yeah. Neither one of them, like as many as uh, Philippe fans that want Philippe to go solo, like Philippe will never leave SB19. SB19 is like the reason he's here in the first place. He's going to appreciate it forever. And if he's going to continue being the humble guy that he has been, he has to be thankful to SB19 because they put him up on the scene. So I feel like it, it goes with all of them the same way, you know, with Justin, uh, Pablo, Stell, everybody. Like they, they, they can go out on their solos, but like they will never forget like what brought them there, which is SB19, you know, and the whole work they did together as brothers. So. I really I'm, love like how they understand where they come from, you know. Like they don't overlook go like, oh yeah, solo artist. Yeah, I've always thought about solo artists. I kind of like just use SB19 to become a solo artist, you know. And that's the not support, the case. The support, yeah, it's the support system that they have, and the support that they have for each other when they do these solo projects is is amazing. Because like, look at how much like even when they're doing solo stuff, how much the other members are like really like helping out all of them, right? Like when Pablo is doing things, they, he's getting like inspiration, getting stuff done with the other guys. Same with Josh, same with Ken, even when that we just seen with Stell. His first solo debut, he had, you know, Pablo and Josue helping produce. We, he's got Justin in the background doing uh, music directing. Like they, they, mm-hmm. they, they, they big each other up so good. Even uh, in solo, each other. it's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Even in still solo. behind the scenes, even if they're not in the, in the front line or not singing or, or doing something with them. They're doing stuff in the background, right? Yeah. To help them. They play awesome. like a whole sway's position all the time and never yeah. mention it, you know? Like never like go like, oh, I'm the one who wrote that or I'm the one who no. did this. Or, we don't, we only know because that. everybody else is telling us, right? Yeah. The fans that keep like telling them like, you don't understand who's all doing all this on the background. They're so and humble. The like, we would never know, right? If we never read the credits, like or what they're putting at the end of it in the description or from, from all the fans or from everybody else, they're so humble that like, they don't care about getting the credit, right? It's not about the credit to them. It's about really just like making sure all of them are succeeding and doing the best product to give out to everybody. Yeah, the music. The yeah. music is important. And they all love music. That's what's great about them. 
Let's go, Josh. Makakatulong sa career. Kung unconsciously, ginagawa ko na siya matagal na. At ever since, I love video games. Nakakala ko hindi makakatulong sa career or siguro sa craft ko. Pero siya pa yung mas uh, yung naging dahilan bakit so obrang um, kulit or malaro yung imagination ko. And up to this date, sila na yung gamit ko sa pagpaproduce, sa pagbimix, and of course, uh, creating my own songs and craft. Siyempre sa pag edit ng videos na rin. Okay. What parts of yourself do you see in your P-pop group? Siguro being a team player, yun na yung pinaka no-brainer answer dito. Kasi when I am in my group, siyempre doon ako talaga sa pagiging team player. And siguro sa someone who tries to oversee everything to make it better. Yung, uh, ang masasabi ko yung strength ko sa aming, ay bukod siyempre sa music, sa pag-ambag na mga ginagawa namin with creative flow, siguro yung decision making. I always get to, siyempre, in a way, nakakachamba tayo ng mga magigandang decisions. So, you know, natutunan ako with life and experiences. At uh, ito, describe a perfect day with yourself outside FIFA. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Share a but perfect day outside FIFA or outside music ba to? Yung maglalaro lang ako. <laughs> yung maglalaro lang with my friends kasi, uh, ano ba yun, yung namipiss ko rin na minsan magkaroon ng time for myself. Yung dati nag-gym lang ako, tapos after maglalaro, But nowadays, I don't get to do that. Kasi, wala eh. Uh, Tapos yung kakain ka ng masarap, ayun, yung makakain ng sinigang, mm-hmm. o kaya ng favorite food mo, kahit ano. Yun lang siguro yung namimiss ko kasi hindi ko na siya magawa ngayon. Kasi ang dami na masyadong ginagawa. With solos, and group, and of course, other stuff. Ayun. Ito to, last but not least. If you were to write your personal bio for the whole world to see, what would you write? Prado to. Anong sasagot din to? May bio? Siguro, ano? Uh, I, I think I have this quote naman. Nalimutan ko kung ito nung inang kuwa. Pero ano, uh, the, the only way to predict the future is to create it. Woo! And yun nga, ikaw lang talaga magdidikta kung sino ka at ano ang magiging final form mo. So, be all, always be the best version of yourself. At kapag meron ka, para, pwede gaysitate ka sa mga bagay-bagay, feeling mo hindi mo kaya. Walang masamang mag-try. Try lang lang try. And uh, I think, lahat naman tayo, magtutunan yun. And stay out of your comfort zone. Woo! Let's go! So, meron masyashare ko preach. with the uh, previews, current, and siguro yung future state of hip-hop. Siguro, it does go na lot. Na nakakagulat. Na parang dati, hindi pa na kami nakikita. Or it's hindi inalalaman na tao kung ano yung identity na. Na parang pinaglalaman mo palagi sa mga interviews. Pag sinasabi, oh, ito, ano, Filipino K-pop. <laughs> dati parang may stereotyping pa nangyayari. Pero ngayon, hindi na natin kailangan pakilala. Halos lahat ng tao alam na kung ano yung ginagawa natin na pinaglalaban natin. I'm super proud and thankful to all the people who have been uh, siyempre pushing P-pop. It's yung mga artists at fans. Salamat sa inyo. Pero sa mga artists, salamat. Sobra. Alam nyo na yan. Alam kung ko na dapat sabihin mo at hindi ko na kailangan explain pa ng malawak yan. Pero sa mga fans, salamat. Kasi bawat siguro artist na sinusuport yan yung Uh, na P-pop artist ay malaking tulong para sa amin na mas maiangat pa ako ano yung meron tayo. Uh, siguro with my group as b and for me, uh, marami ako what ifs before na may mga nasasabi akong missed opportunities or mga bagay na sayang, hindi namin din right or hindi namin sinis yung moment. May mga text kasi syempre yun, like, karoon kami mga problems at may mga times na hindi, hindi kami naging consistent. Pero, thankful ako kasi nandiyan pa rin yung mga tao na naniniwala ako ang yung kakayahan namin. Kaya hindi, hindi kami sumusuko. At, syempre, mas 
pinag-iigihan pa namin as a group and shepherd as individuals. Salamat, salamat sa supporta sa SPDIT at salamat sa mga sumusuporta sa akin. <laughs> Guys, gotta go! Yo, I love his bio, yo. His bio is the truth, man. His bio is facts. You create everything, you know? Yeah, the you only way to predict everything. the future, right? Is you create it. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love this quote. His quote is perfect. It's like uh, Richard Back in the Ny- Nyebe. You remember that, that writing at the end? I think it was Richard Back. Like, who's to blame? For your mm-hmm. life and your circumstances when you control everything and you shape your future and you shape your life basically mm-hmm. like who's to blame if it goes the wrong way no one but yourself that's beautiful i love that he brought that yeah no it, it's it's really good because his perspective and everything like he's it's very similar like i can see like their mindsets are are similar with each other in the group a lot of the same answers that that Pablo was giving when we watched his was very similar to like what even Josh is saying. Even his perfect day was like being with friends and being with like it, it's never about like just themselves. It's always about like being with other people and having those experiences. Like his perfect day was uh, just hanging out with friends. It's normal stuff. Mm-hmm. He's such a superstar and he doesn't have the time to do such normal things like being able to eat his favorite foods like synagogue and stuff that he was talking about. Same things with what. Pablo was saying it's, it's the normal stuff that like they they wish they could do more because they're such the they're, they're on the uprise right they're, they they've been growing and they're all over the place now that they don't have the time to do like the the, the most easy normal things cool to see like what his like perfect day would be and like just listen to him talk about what he wants to be remembered as and what his buy would be because it's very similar to like how Pablo he it didn't really care about it wasn't about him it's never usually about like them as as a person it's usually about what they can spread like after they're gone how they want to be remembered like pablo was talking about he wanted to be remembered by the music mm-hmm. right what what you felt when when you heard his music not even so much about his name right M- remembering him as his name but associating yourself to his music and how the music made you feel is what he wants you to remember him at the time you listen to it you know? yeah so it's cool man i like i like i like this setup that they have like with, with them just answering the questions and then being able to just like talk and express themselves because all these guys are, are really you know that they, they have a lot of like good knowledge for for being so young yeah right they and got the, thrown into a lot of fires really at a young age which is yeah cool. which was shaped them into what they are now as well you know like all those experiences even the moments they could have seized you know you like you learn from them so like the next time it comes around you'll be capable of seizing those moments you know and you know like what i really really like about all of them and especially josh like did you notice when he was talking about like before the group and everything he used to go to the gym and then go play you know what i mean so like Mm -hmm. i love that they put their work first and then everything else but now because of like you know solo and and the groups like success and work that needs to be done they don't have no time to no play you know what i mean so they all work 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 but that's what they that's uh how they build in the first place they're all disciplined like that you know they're all ambitious like that and determined like that so and they see the fruits of their labor on top of that so like it keeps you going but that's a beautiful thing that means that we're never gonna stop getting new stuff from sb19 and their solo is so you know shout out to them yeah even his insights on on p-pop i i like that he uh explained like about talking about p-pop and, and the stereotypes because like i, I, mean, I feel like, k-pop <laughs> yeah like he was like being sarcastic right he was like oh, filipino p-pop right like when you hear that it's like you get thrown into like the same kind of pop like even like in america we do this all the time with boy bands right they're like oh there's another boy band right so you don't give them a chance to actually listen to it because like they all kind of sound the same right you, you start to like stereotype them before you even like actually hear them and see because sb19 is not a typical boy band they don't got no mop this lee hum and yeah. law you don't have that stop it though you know yeah, you so don't got that you know what's funny go out of the box it's almost like uh calling filipinos asians we're not asians we pacific islanders you know what i mean because yeah. they don't understand it like people people just love to put like things in group you know they might listen to man i don't i don't know what song would be considered k-pop though to be honest with you not that i go down i guess you could say where you at and abla 
I would say those two. Freedom and, and, and gentle, like, are what I think of, like, if, if, like what people probably think of as people. Freedom. Yes. Right? yes freedom. freedom. Yeah. Yeah. So, but then, but then you got, like, you got Crimson, Lehigh, Midlaw, uh, Hangan Sauli, freaking. Yo, there's so many that, like, you can't, you can't put them as, as one genre. Like, just them individually, they are already so many different genres. And now as a group with all these individuals and all their styles, I mean, you can't, you can't put them in one genre. The art that they create, which is so versatile on so many different levels, <laughs> you know, from genres to the sound to everything else. So, yeah. And yeah. they're not shaped, you know, most of the K-pops are like shaped, you know, they shape uh, and they got a big machine behind them. These guys, they come from the bottom and they shape themselves and they keep shaping, you know what I mean? So they they are becoming the machine instead of being, you know, put together by a machine. Yeah, the, the so, P-pop stereotype with them is like such a small, small part of their catalog. Like, even if we like are trying to find those songs that we just talked about to, to see like if this would fit into that box, which I don't even think some of those like even gentle, like like it's it's such a different P-pop song because there's so much different stuff in it. But like that would be the closest like that and like freedom would be like closest songs to what people would think P-pop would be. And I'll actually too, break bro. it down. It's yeah. it's a lot different because there's a lot of different styles that they actually put in those songs. It is very out of the box. Yeah, I, I would say Abla, maybe Gento. I, I wouldn't say Crimson because Crimson is like very hip hop ish to me. It's more like club hip hop. But yeah, I, I guess Freedom and Abla and maybe where you at. But where you at is kind of like Bruno Mars. So, I mean, he's definitely pop. He's definitely pop like music, right? Just like a sharing not, pop music. Not the K pop sound though. Yeah, right? I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. So, so they, they can't even say that actually. So take it back, whoever said it. <laughs> yeah, such a, like it's, it, wrong. It's, it's people that are just looking at them at like face value. Like, yeah. You really gotta, you really gotta like actually listen to these guys' catalog to really like be like, wow, they're not anything like what we expect them to be. Right? That, that, like especially when you see them for like a, in a glance. Like if you if you didn't know SB19, these guys are these are all good looking guys that can like sing, right? So you just immediately just like already your your mind goes there. I'm like, yeah. oh, they're just like another one of these like. You know, front people that people just, made like, by the machine. Yeah, yeah, right. They're all good looking. They all sing. You know, it's just like another One Direction. It's a Filipino One Direction, and they made like a super group so that like the masses will love them, right? which is not the case with them. Because if you listen to the music, it's like they got so much deep stuff that they they talk about that's so outside of like outside of the music styles. Right? We already know they got so many different styles that like they don't fit in one box. The the topics aren't like one dimensional. Just like oh, a love story. When most of these boy bands just talk about love or breakup or things like that this is very simple but the way they break it down is like they might be talking about those things but they go into like a deeper world about it the metaphors they use and the poetry that they use in it is is what i think sets them apart from a lot of these these groups it's just like us like we got introduced to freedom the first time we have ever heard sb19 was freedom and he's like oh they like you could tell like they're a pop group right so mm -hmm. we never imagined that the next song would be Mappa. Never, 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 never. And then Liham, and then I Want You, and then like everything else, like never. Like when you first listen to them and Freedom is your first song, you would never think that they'd be capable of doing those other songs ever. So <laughs> they definitely are not that, that's for sure. They, they, they're on a league of their own, you know? They're on their own pedestal, I feel like, you know? Yeah. I think they're bigger than just P-pop too, because like, um, like I said, like songs like Mappa, Liham, even I Want You, and so forth. This is like I wouldn't like consider them pop. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know they're a good group when if somebody like suggested you to be like, hey, what what is this one song that would like describe this group? This would be a hard group. Like if I had to pick one you song, can't. you can't right because it's yeah. like. It's like almost impossible because they they have all the songs are so different from each other. None of them like really describe like who they are as a, as a group. You would have to like, listen. It, it to doesn't that do whole... it justice. Yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. do their whole catalog. Well, there's the some artists project. like you do one song and that like that will pretty much. This is what they sound are, like, right? Yeah. And like you can like imagine like the rest of the songs gonna be very similar to this, or if not on the same kind of part. With them, like I can't pick one song that like is gonna describe like give them justice to check off the boxes of like what they can actually do because every yeah. song they're showing so different like versatility and different things 
that it'd be so hard. I, I couldn't pick one. I, like if someone told, hey, you got to pick one song to describe this group, like this would be, yeah. that would be impossible. I'd be like, no, you got like you got to do a catalog. I would have to like uh, pick a project, if anything, yeah. and even that wouldn't do it justice. You know what I mean? Because like they so uh, so versatile, you know, in their music. Let's go, Josh. Let's go. support this act. Guys, gotta go. What a beat. What a beat that was, y'all. That was fire. Yeah. I love that they did the little photo shoot thing. <laughs> Level three, P pop stage. Josh Cullen. Woo! That beat Hey, what's up, everyone? Ako nga pala si Josh Cullen, and I'll be singing one of my singles called Prius of Love. It's different. <laughs> His beats are always, always, always on point. It sounded so smooth. It reminded me of rapping forte. Like that. That was, yeah. I, I like that song. I have no idea what the song is about, at all. Yeah, it is great flow. So from I was reading the comments too when he was performing, and people were saying I guess the the song title means pleading. It translates to pleading. Okay. So that's what the song title is about. And then um, they were saying that it's this one came out right before Sumaya, so it's almost like a prequel also about a problematic relationship pleading to somebody so it looked like this was like probably him like pleading to like you know kind of stay stay in the relationship almost All right so you can kind of see like why he was going down like getting down on his knees and stuff like that like he was pleading right mm -hmm. pleading his case to try to like stay with her or, or keep the relationship going this is such a smooth song the emotion though you can feel the emotion and the flow the flow of this song is what i really really like he had such a great flow yeah and it was so like what you were saying when it was smooth is i think it's the flow that he was spitting on this was like really really good like with this with this beat like he's really good at making sure that the the instrumental that he has is perfect for like the flow that he's trying to deliver mm -hmm. so i don't know if that's like if, if what he does first which i'm assuming it's probably the the production side first and then he's writing to it because it, it sounds so like smooth with it, it the flow just is perfect it was with perfect it. Again. yeah yeah. And then I like his harmonizing too. His harmonizing is on point. And I think he kept switching like the the, the microphone effects on it too. For to go with the with the hook that like like a robotic feel to mm -hmm. it. I think he kept switching to his regular voice and then to that. I like yeah. his regular voice though. Like his regular voice is on point, you know. He was killing it like he was behind the hook to, doing the harmonizing. Let's go, Josh. Great performance though. Great first performance. Absolutely. And that was Pakiusap lang. Siyempre, ito pong kanta na ito ay naisulat ko nung mm. time na mga panahong masasakit pa. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Siyempre, ito ay hango sa mga experiences ko din before and experiences ng mga ibang tao na close sa akin. And siyempre, lahat naman siguro tayo dumaan sa experience na parang nakiusap lang. Uh, susunod ko naman pong kakantahin ay medyo mas relatable kasi kung kayo ay galing sa toxic relationship or currently in a toxic relationship, siguro may mga times na parang mapapasabi ka na yoko na. Simple as that, diba? Ayaw mo na eh. Wala na eh. 
My next song would be something na syempre, hindi ko lang mag-isa ay per-perform. Meron po akong special guest for today. And isa po siya sa mga LJ. Uh, pinakamagaling na hip-hop artist dito sa Pilipinas. Let's all welcome my brother, hey, Let's go. <laughs> just thinking about it. What up, Ben? What's up, what's up? Yun, so itong track na to, uh, syempre, sinulat mo namin at naisipan ko lang yung idea together with Brian, Sir Brian Lotto, na syempre, pag minsan gusto mong kumawala sa isang toxic relationship, ano ba yung mga gusto mong sabihin? So ayun, uh, sinulata namin together with Al James at nirecord namin. At ito ay para sa inyo mga sawi sa masasakit na uh, toxic relationship. Time to escape, Let's baby. Nice. That's dope that he's got, they got Al James there. Yes, yes. So we're gonna do, uh, we're definitely gonna do the video for this with uh, No Drink. No Drink hasn't heard this yet and I'm excited for him to hear it, you know? Yeah, and he's gonna see the music video and there's a few things in that music video like josh is sneaky i figured some stuff out so hopefully we get to do that like asap with no drink but like the video is official the video like makes so so much sense but yeah i like this song a lot this might be one of my favorite out of these three i would say Yeah, this, this was yeah this is definitely like uh josh getting in his bag All right we got to see a lot of him doing a lot of crazy stuff with that especially i feel like him and al james when we heard this their their back and forth together was like mm -hmm. amazing it reminded me a lot like the the pablo Josue, like back and forth that they had yeah. on auto. they, they complement each other really really well really well really well they they work together like flawlessly like it's nice super duper nice And it's it's like a you know the 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 song is about getting out of a toxic relationship, but like it gives you that vibe of like you know moving on too, you know like the sound of it. It's like you you can bump this like before you go to uh, a club or something like that. You know what I mean? Like this is perfect for it. Like this pre gaming all of that. You know, it's like a really good song. It could go anywhere really because it's yeah. so great sounding. You know. Like what you said is really relatable, right? Because it's, it's you could take this song as like if you're in the toxic relationship, like then then you know exactly how this feels right now. Or if you just got out of a toxic relationship, then it's no. Then this, this is more of an anthem, right, for you? Because then it's like really like I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how done I am. <laughs> right? Al James at nirego namin at ito ay para sa inyo mga sawi sa masasakit na uh, toxic relationship. Let's hear it all. Let's go. Papa Leo, say yo, kaano na? Dali nito, ako, wala na ba? Papa Leo, say yo. Napuno na napapadala sa mga ines. Kung pwede na pares, tayo na lang umali. Panapantang pa naman na umalis. Kung pwede lang walang masasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasas
with, 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 with Al James. Like what we talked about in the beginning, like they work so good with each other. And then hearing it again, like hearing it over, like after doing the song before, watching them perform it live. Yeah, they, they, they killed this. They, they, they had one for sure. They, they, they caught some magic when they worked together. This is one of those songs. It's like Ella and Mappa and uh, Liham too. It's like these songs, they make you want to learn the language. Because the language sounds so beautiful. You know what I mean? Like it sounds so beautiful in the song that like it makes you want to learn it. You know, like it, it makes it makes the language very, very attractive. And that's what they did with this one for certain. They make me want to learn Tagalog. I have it's, to real it's stone, the right? voice. <laughs> the voice is just like so uh, so soothing and so smooth. So yeah, this right. this is an RB like hit. Uh, this yeah. is an RB R and B song. So it's definitely got some some feels yeah. in it. And it, it's so deep, like when we're talking about like being done. It's such a, an upbeat take on being done in a relationship. Because usually when you're thinking done, you're thinking like this is gonna be an aggressive song. Right? When you're saying yeah. like I'm I'm done, it's like you're putting your foot down, you're gonna be aggressive, but this doesn't sound like an aggressive song. This sounds more upbeat, like like I'm I'm happy to be kind of be done. I'm I'm happy to be like on the other side of this now. Like it, it is a long time coming kind of thing. Like I'm finally I'm finally here, I'm done. It's almost like a celebration of being done versus yeah. like moping in and being being sad about it. You know, from the lyrics, it seemed like they left in a very kind way and not like, you know, left like, I'm out of here, never again will I get played. Like, none of that. It was more of like, this ain't for me. So like, we, we're gonna part ways, but in a nice way, because the lyrics in there are like fire, bro. They fire. Yeah, he's really respectful because like even in the I remember when we were reading the lyrics for when we did the music video, he was talking about like how shit like he's like even though you know we're not ending up together and it's it's I'm done. He's like I still wish the best kind of for you. Right? It's just not gonna be with me no more, right? I'm I'm walking in I'm walking out of that door that I should have walked out of a long time ago, and, and going into a, a new chapter. But like I I don't have any hard feelings kind of thing. Yeah. Josh is like a you know R and B and hip hop style is like some of my favorite from the group. Like he does an amazing job with the like R and B like hip hop style, you know. Yeah, really cadence to his voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's phenomenal. I rapping and singing, you know, makes great songs together. And Al James, uh, he doesn't slack neither, you know. He's fine. No. What is peep pop, and what sets you apart from other genres? Well, this is actually a hard question, but we created a subgenre out of pop to share, to have our own identity. Siguro it's all about authenticity of being an artist, and siguro yung pagmamahal mo doon sa country and sa music na ginagawa nyo. I think that's what makes it different from other genres. If you could have it your way, how would you like the local music industry to be? To, to be honest, kasi malaki na yung narating, malaki na yung uh, nangyari with OPM and local music industry. Pero we're still a long way to go. Uh, Siyempre, yung pinakapangarap ko for the industry is to umabot na tayo dun sa point na nakakapag-import and export. Mm. And nakakatulong na tayo sa economy ng Pilipinas. Eh, siguro yung mas mamahalin pa tayo ng ibang countries na malapit sa atin at malayo na we would be able to use it as diplomacy instead of diba, war. Yun. What would you want to say to your group's future selves or future self? For my future self, grabe ah. Sana, sana, sana lahat ng goals mo at lahat na siguro hardships mo ay matumbasan ng katulad ng ina-expect mo. Pero don't worry, don't be too hard on yourself kung marami kang lapses kasi sure naman ako binibigay mo yung best mo. What have you overcome in the past few years that made sense now? Yung hindi ako makatanggi basta-basta sa mga tao and at the same time, uh, siguro mas naging confident ako with what I have right now. Kasi before, I was always uh, doubting myself and ngayon, pas lalo ako naging confident mas lalo ko nabibigay yung 100% in yung siguro yung talent ko mas lumalawak yung nagagawa. And thankful ako sa mga taong naniwala sa akin from the very beginning. How do you like to be known and remembered as a P-pop group or soloist? 
I want to be remembered as someone who tried to make a change, who tried to, siyempre, uh, break the barriers, mas ma-push ko forward, or someone who tried to help the industry in growing. And I think that's what we're doing right now, everyone in this scene, OPM, P-pop, and siyempre lahat ng kasama namin dito sa lakbay na to. Pero I want to be, siyempre, someone uh, talaga na mas makapag-ambag din, uh, whether it's uh, within music or siguro cultural. <laughs> Let's go, yo. You yeah, seen the one Z Entertainment? Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let's seen, go. seen a lot of that now with them. Right? It's yeah. everywhere. One Z. Yeah. Absolutely doing big things with uh with the new record label. And like they doing oh my goodness, they're doing so much. You know, they came such a long way from being um basically in the label, you know, and being managed wrongfully to like getting out of that getting their name and now like creating your own let's go shout out to just me thank you yeah shout out to you let's go yeah what a what a what a great like interview what a great performance i i love this uh what is it mix it's different that that's what i was thinking yeah. It's mix different. it different it, what a what yeah. a name that is right yeah it definitely hits different like that's the first thing i thought of when we, when we did it the first time it definitely hits different such a such a great concept of a show they show a lot of love to the artists letting the artists be able to do the interview do their performance show what they're really about and, and get some really good insight on like how they feel about what the industry is like right now how they are as a solo artist and even mentioning the group every time so far they, they've been doing really good at mentioning both and how they trying to grow it that's so important you know it's important to josh too and it's important to pablo too bringing the the filipino culture to the world you know and expand it i love how josh is like thinking so far ahead he was like i want to help the economy over here in the philippines you know like i'm talking about like affecting yeah. the economy you know bringing some of that money back to the philippines right yes. not just not just giving it out yeah yes. why Which waste is, talent it's huge you know? it's yeah. huge Especially with with a, with a group like them, they they could definitely do it, right? They're 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 expanding out to so many different regions now. I mean, we're listening to them from America. Yes. Right. So they they they've already expanded so far out, but with English songs too. Yeah, and and they're just such a big talent. So it's awesome to see like people who have such a talent like they they do, and have such good morals behind it that they really want to not just like uh, take this for granted of their all their success. That they're using it to like really like not only like help the philippines but like even to help like fellow artists in the philippines and help the scene that they, that 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 helped them grow into the artists that they became right uh, giving back to p-pop making sure that they're collaborating with other artists like what, what pablo talked about he really hopes that it becomes more collaborative that they start doing more features with these other artists and start picking each other up versus trying to step over each other right because that's what the industry like wants you to believe is that um, to become the next big artist, you gotta step on the guy that's on, on top of you, right? That's doing better than you. You gotta step over him, drag him to be, down, to become so the next person, him, right? Uh, yeah. So it's, it, it shouldn't be like that. You guys should be able to be on the same platform, and everybody should be able to eat and and do great for their their platform. It shouldn't be like a pedestal kind of thing of like, oh, I to, for me to get above where I'm at now, I need to step over somebody else. When you guys should be able to be on equal place. Like there's there's enough of the market out right now that they, you can have more than one one big artist from the philippines where it used to not be that, that way right i There's think with them is a, a tiny bit different too because like before one c entertainment like there wasn't really like too much of filipino like record labels there are like you know booming crazy you know you got probably like you know like the the usual suspects like the the international like philippine sony probably or something along those or uh the universal music group and stuff like that but like nothing like from the philippines like created by like filipinos you know and that's what one z entertainment is i think one z entertainment is gonna do big things for all the upcoming artists all the artists that's been there and obviously sb19 like the ones who created this so i think the one z entertainment is gonna do a lot for the philippines as a whole you know? oh yeah
already i mean look at like i mean they just they just started and look at how much they're already bigging up these other artists yeah they're they're only gonna get better and better so i i I know that just from the mindset of all these guys that are like running 1z right like pablo and all these guys their mindset on like what they already believe i know that they're they're gonna push that heavy to make sure that they're they're bringing up guys below them and, and giving shout outs to people who are already uh, getting big too. There's some artists that like we're just hearing about, but I'm sure that are already big in the Philippines. It's like even Al James. Al James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people yeah. were saying that he's a hit maker in the the hip hop world in the Philippines already. 